Ross, why are you here? I have to be. <laughs> you have to be. I mean, this is just devastating. Uh, we have troubles of our own right now in getting out of Nepal and stuff, and we've been stranded by our Canadian consulate. They've done nothing for us at this point. So all you can do around is turn around and help the others. You know, just we got to put our problems out of the way for the time being. What's it like being here? You know, it's hard to explain. It sounds bizarre. In one, in one, one regard, it's kind of exciting, but then, good God, look at the devastation, you know? I mean, we're in the middle of a, a world situation, you know? It's, 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 ultimately, it's awful. But uh, this is what, biding our time, helping, kicking in, doing what we can, and that keeps your mind off of it. You're just out here volunteering, right? Doing what you volunteering, yeah. I'm here. We met up with a, a group of Canadians who also got stranded here because of the situation with the consulate and the embassy down in Delhi. And we're being put up by the Americans at the AMA, which is the American Mission Association. And they've been absolutely wonderful. And so we have to do something in turn and turn around to help them. We have guards outside that are employed by the American embassy who are looking after us. They've lost homes. They've lost family, and it it just tears you apart. I mean, like, it doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna ask you. I asked you this again, but ask yeah. you, why are you here? To help. To help. Originally, it was supposed to be a, a trekking uh, vacation, and I was visiting a monastery. But here I am, and uh, in one crazy way, I'm, I'm probably in a better place now, doing something. A body was just recovered from here. How heartbreaking is it? How heartbreaking is it to be here? Oh, it's awful. It's awful. I mean, it, it, there's more. There's, there's stuff that we don't know about. You've been digging all day. When are you going to stop? We started about 8 o'clock in the morning. I, all goes on. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm stuck here right now. We don't we don't get a flight out until Friday, early morning. So I'll uh, I'll just hang in just as long as my body will allow me to. Yeah. Do you give up hope? Well, you never want to give up hope, but in the back of your mind, you know that you're, this is not a this is not a search and rescue situation. I don't think.